At Metro, we're planning our fiscal year 2023 budget, which covers operating and capital expenses to ensure we provide safe, reliable, and affordable transit service for the region. An important part of this annual process includes gathering input from our customers, local communities, and stakeholders. This year's budget proposal continues the fare and service improvements that began in 2021 and adds more service and discounts throughout 2022. Follow along to learn more about the proposals, as well as opportunities to share your feedback. In 2021, we implemented several temporary fare changes that the current budget proposal would make permanent. These include free bus transfers to and from rail. Customers would be able to continue riding Metro bus for free when transferring to and from Metro rail. This includes a $2 transfer discount that covers the fare for most Metro bus routes. $2 weekend one-way Metro rail fares. Customers would continue to ride Metro rail for just $2 per one-way trip all weekend and cheaper seven-day regional bus passes. Customers would continue to get a seven-day regional bus pass for just $12 and a senior or disabled pass for only $6. In addition to making these fare improvements permanent, we're also proposing new permanent discounts. These include $2 late night one-way Metro Rail fares. Customers could ride Metro Rail for only $2 per one-way trip after 9.30 p.m. every day of the week and a cheaper monthly unlimited pass. This pass offers unlimited Metro Rail and Metro Bus rides for one month up to a maximum fare level. While the pass typically pays for itself after 36 rides, we're proposing a reduction to 32 rides, which could save customers approximately 10% per month. Lastly, we're proposing some limited time promotions that would make it even less expensive to ride Metro. If approved, the new promotions would start on or after July 1st, 2022 and last for up to six months. The proposed promotions include 50% off the seven day unlimited pass. Customers could take as many Metro bus and Metro rail trips as they want in a week for only $29 and a $5 bonus for every $25 added to a smart trip card. That would give riders $30 in total stored value for Metro rail and Metro bus travel. Now for an overview of the proposed service improvements. Please keep in mind that Metro Rail and Metro Bus are currently operating at reduced service levels due to operational and staffing issues, and proposed service improvements will be implemented once these issues have been addressed. The FY23 budget proposes several Metro Rail service improvements. These include opening seven new stations in 2022, making weekday service improvements from 2021 permanent, adding more rush hour service on the red line, and adding more weekend service on all six lines. Once construction, safety testing, and commissioning are completed for each project, new Metro Rail service would operate at a total of seven new stations. The Silver Line would extend past Willie Ruston East to six new stations, Ruston Town Center, Herndon, Innovation Center, Dulles International Airport, Loudoun Gateway, and Ashburn and Blue and Yellow Line service would begin operating at the new Potomac Yard Station, located between the existing Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport and Braddock Road stations. For rail service, we're proposing to run red line trains every five minutes during rush hour, every six minutes during middays and evenings, every 10 minutes after 9.30 p.m., and every six minutes on weekends. All other lines would operate every 10 minutes during rush hours, every 12 minutes during middays and evenings, every 15 minutes after 9.30 p.m., and every 12 minutes on weekends. As a reminder, trains are more frequent at stations with more than one line. The additional rail service improvements above and beyond what began in September 2021 would go into effect when the Silver Line Phase II extension opens. In addition, we're also proposing to continue the current rail operating hours. That means trains would run from 5 a.m. until midnight, Monday through Thursday, 5 a.m. until 1 a.m. on Fridays, 7 a.m. until 1 a.m. on Saturdays, and 7 a.m. until midnight on Sundays. Similar to Metro Rail, the Metro bus service improvements introduced in 2021 would become permanent. These include additional buses across the region, with a new frequent service network featuring 12 or 20 minute service on 36 of our most popular bus lines, increasing service on selected lines to address crowding, 
and restoring service to pre-pandemic levels on selected lines. Due to decreased in-person demand, we're also proposing to permanently close the sales office at Metro Center Station. Services offered at the sales office, including buying passes, transferring balances, or adding value to smart chip cards, would continue to be available online, at regional commuter stores, or participating retail outlets. As part of this plan, the new Transit Accessibility Center at L'Enfant Plaza, opening in 2022, would offer senior smart trip sales and customer service. In addition to service improvements and fare discounts, the proposed budget also funds programs that are foundational for safe and reliable service. With the support of dedicated funding from our jurisdictional partners, Metro's capital improvement program has grown to be one of the largest in the U.S. transit industry. The many construction and rehab projects underway are a sign of a healthy system, ensuring a state of good repair for critical regional infrastructure. The proposed capital budget is $2.3 billion, which is part of the six-year $12.4 billion overall capital improvement program budget. These capital investments are focused on six categories, rail cars and rail car facilities, rail systems, track and structure rehabilitation, bus, bus facilities and paratransit, stations and passenger facilities, and operations and business support. We want everyone's comments, including customers, employees, business leaders, transit advocates, and members of the public, so we can learn more about your thoughts on these proposals. Please consider participating in the official public comment period, which runs through 5 p.m. on Tuesday, February 15th. Feedback can be provided by taking a survey and submitting written comments or providing input during one of three public hearings. For more information about these proposals and details on how to provide feedback, visit wamata.com budget.